Hey y'all, it's Allie. Um, I was actually getting my snacks and stuff ready for today. Um, and I thought I would share it with you. So this is typically what I'm eating during a work day. And I was just gonna show you everything that I eat from start to finish. Um, the only thing that usually changes is the dinner um, and then also maybe something different for breakfast. But I'll just start off with, um, I do have a cup of coffee in the morning, so I start off with that. And then um, I do put two, what does it say? Two teaspoons, I actually have a teaspoon measure inside, um, into my coffee for extra fiber. And then I just put a splash of the International Delight um, the Cinnabon, no, it's not sugar-free. No, it's not lo low in fat. I just literally put a splash in it just to have some flavor. So I start off with some coffee and I put around, get ready for my day, take a shower, get dressed, everything like that. And then I will eat some breakfast before I go to work. So I bought a variety pack of the lower sugar uh, instant oatmeal. Um, I, my favorite is actually the maple and brown sugar, but they're all pretty good. You can actually buy the lower sugar in just one flavor. You don't have to get the variety, but I like the variety. It spices things up a little bit. Um, I'll actually use the hot water for my Keurig. Um, I use the lowest setting on my Keurig as far as water level goes, and I don't know how many ounces that is. It's just like a little picture of a teacup and a saucer, so that's the amount of uh, hot water I'll use for a packet of uh, oatmeal. So I just usually put it, the oatmeal in a cup, and then I will put half a scoop of this um, protein powder inside of the oatmeal. I don't use a whole scoop because that's too much and it makes it really thick and then you can really taste the protein. It's kind of off-putting. So I'll use half a scoop um, with this and add some hot water and then I will eat that for breakfast. And so for as far as what I get together for work that I'll eat throughout the day while I'm in my office is uh, pretty much this. It looks like a lot but it's really just these three things. So I'll drink, um, after I start work, usually around like 11, I'll drink a Premier Protein Shake. And um, these I usually eat, I won't, I don't know if I'll eat both of them, but I just take them with me to have it. Usually after lunch, in between lunch and the end of the day, I'll get a little like peckish. So if I want, I will have some almonds. Um, I actually have this huge bag that I got from Sam's Club. And it says, uh, a quarter cup of it is 160 calories. So I actually have a measuring cup inside of the bag and I just take a scoop out and put them in a little baggie and throw it in my purse. And also I really like this um, Pure Protein, which is actually the same brand as this. Um, I, you can't see it because I ripped it like a badger, but this is a Pure Protein Vanilla Cream. Um, the protein powder and the bars I did get at Walmart. Sorry, my cat is meowing in the background and wants attention. <laughs> So if I do get a little peckish, I will have a bar um, or some nuts, or sometimes if I'm really hungry, I will eat both. Um, but that's typically, this part is typically after lunch, in between lunch and the end of my work day, if I get a little hungry. Um, but for lunch, what I usually have is these Morningstar Veggie Dogs. I got these at Walmart. Um, I feel like they're the lowest price at Walmart and they usually have them. They don't always have them at the grocery store. I shop at Stater Brothers if I'm not at Walmart and sometimes they don't have it. So when I do find them, I tend to buy a lot of them, um, but they are really, really good. I think that they're actually better in flavor than regular corn dogs. Um, so I'll microwave one of these, 140 calories, six grams of protein. It's not the best choice, but it's better than I don't know, trying to get like a hamburger or something for lunch. So I'll have one of these, I'll microwave it. And then this is actually a really good find. I should have unraveled it. I got these at Sam's Club. I can't remember how much they were, but the brand is Popcorners. It's Flex Chips, they're protein crisps, and they look just like that. Um, these are really good in flavor. When I bought them, they also had a spicy like a buffalo one, and I'm not really into spice, but I did buy them to try it out, and they were actually pretty good. But I like these because uh, they said about 24 crisps is only 90 calories, and it is 10 grams of protein for those. Um, I don't 
count them out. I don't measure them. I just kind of pour a little bit on my plate with my corn dog. But typically, like, this is what I'm having for lunch. I'm kind of a creature of habit. I don't mind really eating the same things over and over again. Um, I do change it up a little bit, so I'll probably make another video when I am eating something different throughout the day. Now for dinner, um, don't roast me. I know this is not healthy, <laughs> but my wife was kind enough to pick this up for us just to kind of make help, uh, help make dinner a little bit easier. Um, I do cook dinner every day, but she was like, you know what, this could be easy and you wouldn't be, you know, so tired if you're tired after work we can just make this really quick so this is just like a chicken parmesan again she got this at sam's club as well um i figured you just heat them up uh let's see this for four ounces with sauce and cheese four ounces of chicken with sauce and cheese is 310 calories and 26 grams of protein um, my wife will be eating this with regular spaghetti pasta like just regular noodles um, i'm actually going to use this which i do tend to use for dinner sometimes it is pasta zero spaghetti um it is actually it's pretty good. I mean, if you're craving spaghetti and you don't want to have the noodles, this is actually a really good alternative. Uh, let's see. So per whole thing, this whole thing is 45 calories and uh, like one gram of protein. So it's not like going to give you all your protein needs, but it is going to give you a spaghetti flavor without all the calories. I did get this at Walmart. Um, I found it at many Walmarts actually. So if you go to the produce section, um, and there's like a little cooler area that has the, uh, like vegan stuff, like vegan mayonnaise and cheeses and meats. You're going to find this there. Um, so that's what I'm planning on having for dinner tonight. Maybe one of those, maybe not all of it. And then some of these, this is really easy to use too. You just follow the directions in the back, uh, cut it open. I put it in a, in a strainer, I guess you want to call it. Um, rinse it off and then you can just put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave to heat up the noodles or you can put them in like a, a saucepan and just heat them up that way um, but yeah that's what I'm planning for dinner so another thing that I'm really excited about for today is this just came in the mail for me I ordered it off of Amazon I think it was like $20 so I'm really bad at drinking water and I bought this and it's a gallon of water and it reminds you where you should be throughout the day to get all of your water in um, it is gi freaking enormous as you can see i can't even like hold it with one hand <laughs> but this is it um, i'm going to attempt to get through it today uh, we'll see how it goes again i'm really bad at drinking water i did get this on amazon it does have a little like lanyard holder which i appreciate there's other ones on amazon that had plastic holders and then there's ones that had no holders which i don't even understand how you would like comfortably lift this up and drink it and it does come with a straw that pops out and then when you close it it just pops back in so you don't have to like lift this up to your face but anyway guys this is pretty much a little bit overview of what i'm planning on eating today um i am a little over two years post-op gastric sleeve so i just try to eat these things to kind of stay on track and maintain my weight i know it's not perfect i know i have pre-made stuff there's nothing that's really like homemade right here but you know what if it helps me keep on track and avoids you know i avoid going to a fast food place then so be it but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to see any more with me trying uh, different things or switching it up a little just let me know i'll make another video all right have a great day guys bye